it going guys, Rude Junkie here. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about JMZ Kids Mode. Uh, it's a new application that just came out by my buddy James and I asked me to do a quick review of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and install it. Now, what this does is kind of obvious, it's kids mode, it kind of gives your tablet or phone a kids interface, uh, kind of locks them out of things. So I'm gonna go through it and show it to you. Um, it is $2, so uh, it does have a cost, but that just goes to uh, support the developer. So this is basically it. when you turn it on it tells you it needs to enable this so go ahead and enable it in settings and then you can actually go back and then it'll launch uh, the application. So just important to read through this as it talks about how it's set up and what to do with it. It says to select it as the default launcher. So also this is really important to point out right here it has a default pin of one, two, three, four. Um, that locks the application in. So it's a very simple application and it's very easy to use. So basically how it works is if you want your kid in kids mode to be able to access an application, you check it. So I'm just gonna check basically all of the games. That's the kind of stuff that most of my kids wanna play. So go ahead and check all those. You can even do Netflix if you want, uh, something like that and that one and then you would hit save. But before we come out of this screen, let's go ahead and just show you what else is in here. So we have change pin. If you wanna change it from the default pin of one, two, three, four, you can do that. You also have um, to include system applications if you would like. So you can check that and then you'll have a lot more applications in the list. Here, you have all the system applications and stuff would show up in there as well when you restart it. So I'm gonna go ahead and save just with the game. Oh, kids YouTube, gotta have that one in there too. So we'll hit save hit OK and then right here it adds very important it asks you to put kids mode as the default launcher say always and then you should be good alright so hit OK to clear that so from here this is kids mode this is they're gonna be your kids interface um, easy to maneuver and pick whatever application they want to launch so I mean you want to play flappy birds you can go ahead and play flappy birds and go on through the game and so forth and you can go back and if you hit home now, you can see it goes right back to this because this is your home launcher. Now, to exit it, if you want to get out of it, it's very simple. Just hit back three times, and it's going to ask you for that pin. Again, that default pin is one, two, three, four. Hit OK. And you're back to this screen, and then you just exit that program, and you're back to your normal launcher just like you want. And if you see, you see this is what's cool about it. Even though you set that as default launcher, it doesn't interact once you exit the program so now you can go right back in it hit save and you'll be basically into kids mode once again there it is so it's very simple it's just a program that locks in certain applications exactly what you want your kids to have access to or not so they don't mess up your device your tablet or your phone hope you guys like this quick little review here of kids mode uh, jmz kids mode and uh, stay tuned for more app reviews in the near future. Big thanks to James for uh, letting me uh, check this thing out. Very cool application. And if you're interested, definitely spend the two bucks, support the developer. I'm sure he'll add more features to this in the future. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.